On November 10, 1963, a boy who was named Shera Zambo was born in an ordinary Tibetan family in Rungtsa area of Durga in Sichuan province. On that day, the villagers saw colorful auspicious clouds in the sky, smelled wondrous scents in the air, and heard heavenly sounds of conks and drums coming from far away. All these were auspicious signs showing the extraordinariness of this newly arrived life. The mother didn't even feel any suffering during the whole process of delivery. The connection between the Campbell Rinpoche and Buddhism was obvious ever since his birth. At his young age, Rinpoche's mother often took him to visit Kempo Tsawanjigme. The great accomplisher always said happily, the name I gave him, Shiron Sembo, seems to fit his future perfectly. Shira means wisdom, 
Zombo means benefit all the beings. The combined meaning is to guide the beings deluded in the darkness of greed, hatred and ignorance to enlightenment with wisdom and to generate all the necessary conditions for benefiting all the sentient beings through the ways of self-benefit and benefit others. There are a lot of saying on the lives of Kempo Rinpoche. Many great accomplishers and Turtons have made various recognitions and prophecies to him, including the greatest master of the Nyingma school of Tibetan Buddhism of our time, his holiness Dhamma Raja and wish-fulfilling gem, Jimmy Punsog Rinpoche. There are also lots of monasteries that have requested him to be enthroned in their respective monasteries. But Kempo Rinpoche's response is always, I'm an ordinary person. I'm a disciple of Buddha Sakyamuni. I'm a disciple of Dhamma Raja Jimmy Punsok. Because he knows very well that in this world full of greed, hatred, ignorance, pride and jealousy, fame and high position will only mislead people away from the correct path of Buddhist teachings. That is to be liberated from the sufferings and achieve the ultimate happiness through wisdom to benefit all sentient beings through compassion. With all these, we can only say he's a genuine Buddhist practitioner. To practice the Buddha Dhamma, faith, view, conduct and realization must be integrated. Based on unbroken vows, a practitioner needs to pass three strict tests of learning, meditating and practicing to achieve the accomplishment and be able to benefit the sentient beings in the real meaning. In 1976, 13 year old Shara Zombo went to the Tashi Monastery and met the abbot Gurning Rinpoche, who was one of the five golden seat lamas in the Katak Monastery a famous Tibetan monastery with over 1,000 years of history. Gurning Rinpoche was known as Overturned Plate Lama. It was said that during his practice of power for the dead man, with the proper courses and conditions, the skull could be broken and the spirit be liberated at a snap of the fingers. When he saw Shira Zombo, he said joyfully, I'll treat you as my own son. In the following two and a half years, young Shara Zambo learned lots of teachings, including power from the overturned play Lama, who had imparted almost all he had to his favorite student. After the Nirvana of Gunning Rinpoche in 1979, Shara Zambo Rinpoche followed successfully Kempo Garan, Kempo Tsewanji Mei, Kempo Tenua, and Kachen Benza Rinpoche, who was often called Patma Tsawan Rinpoche. He received extensive ecstatic and esoteric teachings from these masters. Kempo Tsawan Jimei, who named him after his birth, gave him all the Dzogchen transmissions he had. At the end of 1984, Patma Tsawan Rinpoche, this kindly Nyingmapa master, wrote a letter and recommended the 21-year-old Shara Zombo to Dhamma Raja Jimmy Ponsok. From then on, at the Laran Five Sciences Buddhist Academy in Ganza region of Sichuan, Shara Zombo found his spiritual home and became the heart son of the greatest Nyingma Pa master of the time, the embodiment of all the virtues of body, speech and mind of Buddha and Bodhisattva in the Ten Directions. Upon his first arrival at the academy, Damaraja Jimmy Ponsog Rinpoche had said to him, You better stay here for long term. You can study extensively the three treasuries of sutras, 
precepts and treaties. At the same time, you need to spread the teachings and benefit the beings actively. I believe firmly, as long as you are industrious, you will play a significant role on teaching the Nyingma tradition in the future. Since that day, Shira Zambo Rinpoche has been staying with his guru master, the Dhamma Raja, and wish-fulfilling gem Jitme Ponsok. The Dhamma Raja imparted to him all the exoteric and esoteric teachings. In 1986, at a Dhamma gathering of the Kalakakre Empowerment, the Dhamma Raja claimed formally to the nearly 6,000 disciples attending the gathering that Shara Zambo, together with other three Dzogchen practitioners, would be his successor for the Nyingma school in the future. In the same year, Shara Zambo Rinpoche received a Kempo degree from the Dhamma Raja. He then started to give teachings to Tibetan monks. In the past 16 years of teaching, the Kempo Rinpoche replies to all the requests with equal patience, whoever it is, a Kempo, a Tulku, an ordinary disciple, or a stranger. Over the years, more and more people from all over the country gathered around the Kempo Rinpoche. The number of disciples is ever-growing, to whom Rinpoche shows always same compassion. He uses various ways to remove karmic hindrances and to bestow blessings for the disciples. He teaches the essence of pith instructions of Buddha Dhamma according to disciples' levels. He is also skillful at helping disciples to rectify wrong habits such as greed, bad temper, pride, lack of forgiveness, smoking, drinking and killing. He makes disciples understand that being a good man goes before studying Buddha Dhamma. The perfection in behaving as a human being sets the ground for the path to Buddhahood. Mm. 还是个王级信心啊<笑><笑><笑> Kempo Shara Zambo Rinpoche differs from other masters by his senses of ease and humor, which is his most attractive personality. Upon the sight of him, People suffering in the worldly life can forget the worries and feel happy spontaneously. In his relaxing talks, people realize as quickly the inexistence of the pains and the true nature of heart. People like him and respect him because he remains the state of effortless impurity. He influences the pitiful beings with his spurnal wisdom and gray mind and shows the charm of a genuine Buddhist.
We never know how much food in our plate has been the meat of our past parents, brothers, and sisters. As Buddha Sakyamuni said, even if it's possible to count the number of sands on the earth, it's impossible to tell the total number of sentient beings who used to be our parents. For the purpose of satisfying our greedy appetite and stomach, we play the role of killer without any mercy. The human history is a lamentable and depictable history of cyclic mutual eating. Some may argue it is the law of the nature for the strong to kill the weak. Then just imagine, someday, when the existence of more advanced and stronger forms of life is proof on the other planet, would we be willing to be killed and eaten ruthlessly? It's a common cognition that the mankind is superior beings with higher wisdom and stronger force. Won't it be a better expression of wisdom and force to dedicate our kindness to every life instead of killing and eating the weak? In Kempo Rinpoche's merciful eyes, we see the pity for the beings going to be killed. We see also the query to the self-concerned human spirit. Liberating animals is the king of all virtues. The lives are free directly from the market and the mouth of people. By chanting sutras to these animals, the seeds of ultimate liberation are sowed for their future. Compassion is cultivated among all the participants to the activity. If everybody treats others with compassion and kindness, the world we are living in will be the world of ultimate happiness.
ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って。ちょっ
At the Vajra Sava Dhamma gathering held by Kempo Shara Zomba Rinpoche at the Tashi Monastery Durga in 1999, in just three days, people attending the gathering had promised to complete the recitation of Vajra Sava Mantra on Benza Sada Hong for 110 billion times collectively. According to the sutras, those who chant this mantra can offset negative karma since countless aeons and generate innumerable merits. In the Sukhavati Dharma gathering in Durga 2000, Kempo Shara Zampa Rinpoche guided the disciples to make wishes to be reborn in the western world of Sukhavati and completed totally one billion times of the recitation of Sukhavati Mantra. According to the sutras, if people accomplish one merit collectively, every individual participant gets the merit of this good doing. That is, when the numbers of mantras recitations by all the people were added up to one billion, it equals that each individual has completed one billion times of mantra recitation. At the Dharma gathering held at Jannan Monastery in Lhasa area in 2001, Kempo Rinpoche have saved the lives of over 20,000 yaks only by agreeing to preside at the gathering, during which he helped also the attendants to offset innumerable negative karma and accumulate innumerable merits.
To those who wish to study the prajna wisdom of Buddha Dhamma, Kempa Rinpoche teaches the beacon of certainty and gateway to knowledge. The 400 verses of Matthya Mika, to those who are eager for the great perfection, he gives the transmission on the root tantra of the web of illusion and the guru nintik. Together with the efforts of disciples, Kempa Rinpoche has built many retreat centers for practitioners in Durga, in addition to over 40 stupas, upon seeing which the seed of liberation is sowed in people's continuum. Walking the 
In all his contribution to the Buddhism, we can't find a person named Shirazondo. We see only an egoless and everlasting devotion to the benefit of all sentient beings, for the ultimate freedom and happiness. Entering into the inside world of Kempo Shara Zampo Rinpoche, we find always tranquility and happiness. Looking into his eyes, we see only compassion and kindness, without the tiniest greed and anger. Kempo Shara Zampo Rinpoche is one of the representatives of Buddhist wisdom and compassion. There are tens of thousands of people like him, but in different appearances and of different positions, contributing selflessly to easing suffering and achieving happiness of all sentient beings. They may be government officials, business people, teachers or policemen. They may be Buddhists or non-Buddhists. They may be your friends or enemies. They may even be cows, horses or birds flying in the sky. Any ordinary person who can generate great faith to Buddha Dharma, practice the teachings continuously and benefit the beings with great kindness and compassion, may achieve the same state of freedom just as the Buddhas. Through Kempo Shara Sampo Rinpoche, we enter a world of wisdom and compassion. It's a world that each of us possess within ourselves world lost in the pursuits of outside materials. Open the heart, abandon the self-attachment, even for a second of time. Our purity and passion, mercy and warmness, which have been submerged for so long, will be reignited in a sudden. Let us follow the steps of our master, as well as that of wisdom and compassion, to return to the beautiful garden of our own Buddha nature.
Zamba, Bonsoso, Domanda, Chijui, Tindani Zonte, Chesso, Soya Pada, Goni, Nanjian Cho, Sonjila, Chasun Cho, The Chotong, Chara Nanjian Cho, Chila Chasun Cho, Chu Nanjian Cho, Gandala, Chasun Cho, Do Chesso, Soya Pada, Don Cho Sala, Chasun Cho, Tayano, According to the Saram Gama Sutra, in the period of degeneration and extinction of Buddhism, the number of unqualified teachers and evil teachings will be as numerous as sands in the Ganges River. In the On the Request of Maitreya Sutra and other sutras, Buddha Sakyamuni deplored various misconducts in our current period of degeneration and extinction of Buddhism. Kempo Sherasambo Rinpoche does not expect or has never expected his disciples or himself to be corrupted by fame and gain. The only reason for the Rinpoche to agree to produce this documentary is to help people learn more about Buddhism and cultivate interest and belief in Buddhist teachings. In this documentary, we did not mention any prophecies of other great masters on the previous, present and future lives of Kempo Rinpoche. As time passes by, when you obtain a better understanding about Buddhism and develop true devotion to your master and the three jewels, you will know more about the uncommon virtues of Kempo Sharasamba Rinpoche.